Hello, this is Industrial Control Circuit Troubleshooting to 6 module. Now we are doing Genius Skill Test number 1. The work order that we received stated that the mixture did not get to pump out to the next stage. What's the problem? Let's dive in. At first, by looking at the external device and the circuit, I noticed that there is no lighting from the control panel. And I noticed the EMO switch or button was pressed by someone. So I release it and there's a lighting from the power lighting. Okay, then I drain the liquid. Okay, after that I will restart the whole process. And I try to observe the LED status from both the PLC input channel and the PLC output channel. So far I don't see any abnormality because the LED number 1, 3, 4, 5, 14 from the PLC input channel loads and the LED number 1 and 2 from the PLC output channel switch are usually energized under normal circumstances. Okay, now maybe we just need to run the process and observe for any anomaly. So we know that the water say the mixture did not pump to the next stage that means something related to the pump issue. So we need to monitor the status when the pump contactor being a, a trigger to close. Okay, it's best that we can always measure the current. But we know the problem is actually coming from the pump contactor circuit in the control panel, no sorry, in the power panel. So that now we don't get any current from two phases and three phases. It's strange because usually we all we don't get the current in the single phase or the most two phases. Rarely if occur having the issue of three phases do not have any current. So we there is maybe there is any loose termination or open circuit in three of the lines or two lines. Okay, maybe you can measure the voltage to confirm the fuse did not blow. Okay, this fuse is okay. This fuse is okay, and this fuse looks okay. So what is the problem here? Okay, one more thing I need to remind myself. For three-phase circuit, the measurement, voltage measurement sometimes can be misleading. So the rule of thumbs here for three-phase circuit voltage measurement is if there is if the line end is open, we can measure the phase voltage for individual phase. If the line end do not open, just like in this case where the current can flow free, freely without any obstruction, then we have to measure line to line voltage. In summary, for three phase circuit, as a rule of thumb, we can measure the phase voltage if that is a, if line end is open. But we have to measure line to line voltage otherwise, meaning if there is no line end open, okay? If the line end is not open, understand? For this case, the line end is not open because the contactor, the pump contactor button is actually pushed inside automatically, meaning the contactor coins was energized and the three phase contactor switch is triggered from normally open to close. So the current can flow through freely towards uh, through this three phase circuit. So we have to measure line to line voltage. Okay. okay there's a voltage here. There's no voltage here. So it looks quite strange. Okay. Usually, if you measure the three phase wire cable and you get zero ampere for all the phases, it means most likely there's an opening, open circuit in two phases, open circuit or loss termination in two phases out of three phases. Maybe it's because of the motor winding to winding shot that causes the two phases open or one phase having the fault in the contactor or the overload where there is an internally open circuit. 
and another phase may be loose termination or maybe there's an open circuit in the fuse or wire or even inside the motor standard winding okay you <coughs> it used to run on three phase if two phases in our service or having open circuit the motor will not run at all because the top is not enough high enough to drive the current and because only one phase is working instead of three phase it will not pull in the current anymore there's that's why there's no issue of overcurrent if there's no issue of overcurrent the overload relay will not trip also okay we had to shut down the power supply and perform the lockout takeout and verify lockout takeout is done properly and then conduct a further checking first i will usually measure the whole line all the way from the upstream of fields towards the downstream of the overload relay okay when you measure the way you measure the resistance across the device with one end open of course you can do it with two ends open okay i open one the ends then we measure the resistance there's an open loop so hmm so what's the issue here so we can measure for the one still the overload happen okay then we measure here to confirm the there is no open circuit on the fuse now we open now we check the resistance across the contactor yeah contactor having internally open circuit okay so the contactor need to change how about this line oh there's an open circuit so we have the double confirm so the fuse is blown okay then how about this one the third phase okay looks okay okay the fuse is blown for the second phase okay so we have to change the fuse here new fuse as what we see just now we haven't two phase open one at the fuse one at the contactor that's why under these circumstances there is not enough load uh, top to drive the load that's why the motor is not running the pump is not running because the motor do not pull in enough of current to generate high torque to turn the load such as pump agitator leaf conveyor belt etc okay because of this one it don't pull the current and there's no over current then the overload relay will not be overheat and trip that's why the overload relay do not trip okay so this one contactor we need to replace okay so after that we need to maybe we need we can check the resistance before we leave the line to line resistance of the motor winding okay 13.1 13.5 4.5 unbalanced resistance will give unbalanced voltage so there is a some problem with the motor winding maybe there is a burn winding yeah has some burn winding insulation okay so we need to replace the motor also now normalize all the circuit here okay remove the lockout takeout and then we run the process again here we had to drain the fluid first after that we run the process okay and one more thing i need to remind myself is do you see any problem here the power panel the, at the pump contactor circuit side initially if we analyze further there is an open circuit internally open circuit in, in one of the phase of the contactor so initially it caused a single facing and du during single facing where the one phase is open the circuit will put in the, mo the, uh, the motor will pull a lot of current so what happened is 
they put in a lot of current and will generate high will generate higher torque to turn the load but because of single facing the two face is working is not enough to generate high torque so you put in a lot of current it should finally overheat the overload relay element heating element and trip the overload relay but it did not do so the overload relay and did not trip initially as so what happened is this will cause the actually the overload current continue to flow through via the overload relay and go to the motor winding and finally cause the motor winding burn and because of this over current continue to flow it burn one of the fuels so this overload relay actually having a problem here maybe we can shut down and double check one more time okay when tested the overload did not trip this confirmed my assumption so we just need to replace normalize the multimeter remove the local pickup and this one okay